It's no surprise that bucktails continue to be the most popular of all lure types for muskie. We note here a few tricks for anglers to consider as we capture typical action from a couple of short trips during fall. Oh, Jeff. Ooh, look at that thing. Whoa, what are we doing? He's going crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> what do we got here? We got oh, all the blue. Oh, there he goes. He went right under the boat. <laughs> Where's he at, Jeff? And he took a run out to the back of the boat. Okay, get that net down. All right, how are we doing? He's coming in. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Must be. Oh, man. <laughs> Carry on. Boy, he just engulfed that bait, you know? You cut that down to size, and look at that. Just perfect. Yeah. Ah, just you're stand. talking, man. <laughs> look at that bucktail. We'll explain that later. Oh, man. Gorgeous fish. That's the beauty, isn't it? <laughs> huh? Beautiful fish. Way to go. Yeah, sweet. Nice yeah. Well, he came up and ate that thing like... He hadn't eaten in no, two days. No, so he moved up inside oh. this afternoon. Yeah, boy, she's a beauty. Beautiful colored. Like, we're just throwing bucktails, your classic presentation, you know, bucktails. They produce for years, they produce from spring until fall. We're doing a little something different, which is noteworthy, and we've modified our bucktail slightly. And that, that is the whole point, is that even though you have a bucktail, making slight modifications can make all the difference in the world. Obviously. It did for that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Let's get back. Oh, there she goes. Nice job. Okay, I'm in a little bit of a dilemma. I want this blade on this bait, plus I want this bait shorter. First, just a matter of breaking, breaking the bucktail down, which, again, using the split ring pliers uh, makes it a lot easier than trying to use your fingernails. Get that started, get the, the spinner blade component started, and, and weave it off of there. It's real simple. Now I got all these components. It's real simple. In a matter of minutes, I'll have this thing pieced back together. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this, put this together. This I want this larger blade on this white bucktail. So I'll pry open the split ring with the split ring pliers. Slide it in there. Get her started, and just slide it on. It's really quick and simple. Now I'm just going to modify this one. I'm going to I'm going to clip off this back part, and I'm going to leave this wire. Good portion of this wire. I'm going to slide this. Basically, I'm going to permanently change this bucktail. There's no going back at this point, but it's worth it. Now you'll see that in the back, this this bait is weighted. We're going to add even more weight, but I'm going to clip just ahead of that, just ahead of that weight, and leave a leave the shaft. Boom. Now I'm going to remove this buck the back bucktail portion that's just on there, right there. And here's. The weights that I poured with my do-it molds, pull those out. You just slip this weight on the shaft. Has a little tag end. I'm going to bend that over. You might think, well, all it, all it takes is a bend. You know, it's just going to be grab with the remaining portion, bend it over. That's more than enough to hold that, that weight on the bait. Boom. We got a brand new bucktail. Now, the action continues a few days later. Jeff Simpson and in fisherman editor in chief Doug Stangy have switched lakes. The weather's fish, changing, fish. Right. and it looks like a good day to be on the water. Oh. Indeed, Simpson quickly puts another fish in the boat. To start the day, isn't that real big? What's that? You said he hit right by shore? Yeah, it was probably uh, 10 feet from shore, Doug. Here we go. Perfect. Yeah, you're throwing that double tandem treble. I cut mine off to add a little extra weight, yep. you know, a little further cast. So. Yeah, of course, I'm after the big fish. <sighs> There you go. Little fat guy. Huh? Yep. He'll that go was a fish of 50 cast, Doug. That's yeah. not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right. get it right. There we go. Oh. Hey. Oh, I'm going to come back. Oh, get coming back. Way. Coming back. <laughs> I'll get the net ready, man. Nice. All right. There we go. Coming at you. Oh, yeah, right oh, yeah. here. There, there, there you go. Up. Great, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I spend about 75% of my time when it comes to bucktails just throwing these two blue fox bucktails. You know, that number five blade in the early season and this number six blade, it's a little hard on the bucktail that time, but that number <laughs> six blade in the fall. And the other thing that we've often talked about at this time of year 
important is the fact that, you know, it's only two days have passed since you and Mr. Quinn were fishing. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't look like it. We came 60 miles north, the leaves have started to change. But this is also one of those times, I think, when there's a kind of a pre-cold water peak sometimes. And that's when bucktails can be dynamite. It's easy, does it? We'll show everybody to fish quick. Oh. 30 pounds fish. That thing is thick. Or more. Woo. Big fish. Nice going. Yeah. All right. At least something. Oh yeah, away we go. Whew. You know that six blade is a fluted blade, it's a bigger blade. The blade that we throw about 90% of the time when we're throwing in the early season is this little number five blade. And <clears throat> these are, I mean you can throw these in just about any situation all season long. Typically again start out with the number five blade, work it real fast. And then as the season wears on, you get into late July, August, certainly at this time of the year, late September, you know, again, classic colors, white, black, black with a silver blade, you can't beat that. There's all kinds of modifications, as Jeff was talking about the other day. One of which, uh, I like to change the back hook to a 374 Eagle Claw. Typically on this bait, it's about a, uh, I think it's a three aught. And you're set to go. With two fish already in the boat, the boys decide to make another run along a bank where earlier in the day, they'd spotted several fish. There's one, got him. Hey, there you go, Doug. Whew. It's good fish. Yeah, he's nice. nice. Ready? Yes, sir. I hope he's not in the gills. Yeah, he'll be, he'll be fine. Good job, Doug. There you go. Tell you what, those bucktails, and no matter what you do with them, I mean, there's the time and a place to modify, but you can also use these blue fox musky bucks right out of the box a lot of times and be just great. Well, you prove that to me. Well, you Good never going, know. Man. You never know. Awesome. You all right? You bet. Perfect way to end the day.